gonna create here and today I'm gonna be making a pony custom okay so <laughs> okay so recently I've been looking through my old sewing projects because if you didn't know I used to like sew like dolls like cloth dolls as like a hobby and I was really into it and for some reason like I just stopped doing it because I think things just got in the way and everything but I've recently been looking at all of my old projects again and all of my old characters and I pulled out a box and <laughs> these three characters were in the box like the only like little characters I'm gonna I'll, I'll take them all out <laughs> okay so these are three characters that I created years ago and if you haven't have noticed yes I am inspired by Tim Burton in fact, Tim Burton is my second favourite fandom. <laughs> so yes, I made these three characters and I was actually planning to make um, this this character here, Ms. Scotch, um, in February, but that did not happen. <laughs> so I'm probably going to push this custom on in 2022. So I'm probably going to make them in 2022. So they're going off to the side. Look at them though. Oh, I'll actually like them. I'll love them because it's like Tim Burton. Yeah, I'll, I'll love that. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that was Ms. Scotch, and after I created Ms. Scotch, I kind of wanted to create like another character so they can have like a friend, so I created Kathy Lockworth! <laughs> so Kathy is actually inspired by like a fish. Um, so yeah, I, I made a purple character to be their friend basically. So yeah, so this is Ms. Scotch's friend, Kathy Lockworth. So as you can see, they both wear wigs and they are removable. I I made them quite a lot of wigs. I have a box of like wigs for these dolls. So, so yeah. And the last character here, like I don't really know um about them. I can't remember if I gave them a name. I don't think I did. But I love the hair. This is the only doll in history that I give like this pink salmon salmon hair. So that's exciting. But yeah they they are a much more nicer character they're more friendly and nice and everything and they're really sweet i didn't mess up the face so i had to like go over it with like white acrylic paint so it's kind of hard there because it's white acrylic paint so yeah this is just meant to be a character that i i don't know just that they're both meant to boss around i guess <laughs> anyway so for today since it's my schedule to make kathy lockworth even though I was meant to make this doll first, but I'm gonna stay true to my schedule and release this Kathy Lockworth character in June, as that is when they're due. <laughs> so yes, basically I want to recreate my old characters into pony form and they're an iconic character. Like Kathy, like she's a she's a chatterbox, very mouthy and gobby as you can see. I give her like a like a very wide mouth and everything. Ooh. <laughs> So I drew them out in pony form and this is what I came up with. So, well, <laughs> so this is what my pony design idea looks like. As you can see, I changed the skin tone because I thought that like the blonde went really well with the green, as you can see, like on the on the doll. I gave them like a green dress and a blonde wig. I was like, oh, that goes well together. And I actually did not like have this doll in front of me when I was like redrawing the character because regardless I was going to recreate this character if I couldn't find the doll or not but they were just in storage at the time and I, I kind of forgot if they were green or not and they are actually this light purple colour the original character is a light purple colour but for some reason I decided to make them a green pony because I just thought it worked better like with the blonde I guess I don't know I mean I, I kind of I'll do like it like purple as well but it's just something different you know it's meant to be a pony form and everything so yes I was thinking of calling them Agnes for some reason Agnes I put Agnes and Kathy because I was like debating on both of the names I was like no Kathy is the one maybe Agnes this could be like the middle name or something but yeah so I came up with the name Kathy Lockworth and as you can see their cutie mark is a lock with an x through it and I'm kind of thinking maybe them two can be like lock picks or something so yeah I don't I haven't really done much character development on these by the way all I know is that they're very gobby and chatty and they're like a chatterbox basically and they're also I got the inspiration like they kind of remind me of like Ms. Quickly from Nanny McPhee, like the first Nanny McPhee, like Miss Selma Quickly, like I get that vibe, like Miss Quickly, that is this character, <laughs> that's what they remind me of, so yeah. So without further ado, let me try to recreate this character and bring them into the pony world. 
So for this character, I'm going to be using this Pinkie Pie. And first, I need to take off the label. As you can see, I did not put the name on the label. I just put Ugly Miss Scotch Villager. So yeah, sorry about that, Kathy. <laughs> and when I got this pony from a bundle, there seems to be some hard glue in the hair that I tried to wash out but couldn't because it's just rock hard. So I'm going to cut all the hair off anyway. But before I do that, I'm going to use a loom band so I can tie up the hair so then I can cut it. I do this so I can keep the hair so if I want to use it for like a future project of trying to reroute another pony, I, I can like reuse <laughs> this hair, I guess. <laughs> Now that I cut this pony's mane as short as possible, I'm now going to use some acetone to remove the cutie mark and the eyes. Now I want to remove the head of the pony so I can get the tail out, so I'm going to be using this hair dryer. So I can soften up the pony's head so I can easily remove it. And it makes the head go temporarily super squishy off the heat, so now I'm going to firmly grip it and try and pull it off. Now I'm going to move on to the most dangerous part of this procedure. I'm going to be using the scalpel knife to make little mini cuts around the neck plug so I can get it out. And this takes a lot of patience, a lot of time, and I have sliced my finger before when I made my Pony OC mascot. So yeah, I recommend getting an adult to do this unless you're like a rebel. Uh, I mean no, I mean no, get an adult to do this. Sorry, don't, don't listen. I'm a bad influence. <laughs> don't. Nah, this is really dangerous. I'm not even kidding. You can lose a finger because of a scalpel knife. Anyway, it took me forever to get this off but I managed to do it so I ripped the neck plug out of the neck now. So now I can try and get the tail out. So I'm just using some scissors just to pull out the tail as so. And I'm just going to take the metal washer out as well. I'm going to be using some super glue now so I can glue the neck plug back in. This is a pony that is going to wear wigs, so they're going to wear a mane wig and a tail wig. Since this character does wear wigs, so I kind of want to recreate this on the pony as well. And stay true to the character. Now I'm going to go back in with the hairdryer so I can soften up all of the glue inside the pony's head and the hair plugs. Now I'm using my scissors to scrape around inside the pony's head so I can loosen up all of the glue and get rid of all of the hair plugs. Since this pony had really tough glue stuck on its head at the very beginning, I'm using this nail dotting tool so I can stab it inside the hair plug so I can try and like loosen up the glue and the hair plug a bit. Then I'm just going to try and pull out the hair plug with my fingers like so. Then the head is clean on the outside so now I'm going to go in with these tweezers and I'm going to put them inside the pony's head so I can pull out all of the glue and all of the hair. Till the head is completely clean. So this is what the head and the body currently look like. Now I'm going to go in with this white acrylic paint. I'm going to paint the head and the body to build up a foundation of layers. Then I can put the actual body colour of the pony on top. So this is what the pony looks like after just one layer of paint. And this is what the pony looks like after five or six layers of paint. <laughs> I'm now going to go in with the colour I actually want the pony, which is green, so I'm going to be using this emerald green paint, and I'm just going to go ahead and paint the body and the head with just one layer of paint, and now they look like this. Now I'm going to paint the eyes of the pony using some white acrylic paint, and on this occasion I didn't like pencil in a guideline of the eye shape or anything, because there's already a moulded in eye socket dent in this pony head mould, so I'm just going to use that as the guide. I'm going to be using the end of a paintbrush so I can paint in the little pupils. And then they look like this. And now I'm going to go in and add some heavy eyeliner. Still use some black acrylic paint. I'm now going to add some very long black eyelashes. Now I'm going to go in with these two pastels so I can add some blush and darkness around the eyes. So I just put it on the pony then I smudge it out using my fingers. And that ended up looking like this. And I also added in the long black nostrils. Remember, this isn't meant to be like a pretty looking character <laughs> or a pretty looking pony. So just, just keep that in mind, okay? <laughs> okay. So the eyes look way too heavy. So I'm going to be using this eraser so I can erase out some of the pastel. So I can like re-blend it out and stuff just to get rid of it. Since this, this is way too much, way too much. I know that, that it's meant to be like a very heavy look. But I still need to make this under control. I'm now adding in this big black beauty mark, again using the end of a paintbrush. 
Okay, so now I added in some black eyebrows and I made the nostrils bigger and I painted it in their iconic red lips. Now the face is done, it's now time to paint in the cutie mark. So I'm going to be using some lemon yellow acrylic paint. Again, I haven't penciled in any guidelines for the cutie mark as it's that simple. And here is what it looks like so far. And now I'm going to be painting in the keyhole of the lock and the outlines. Now I'm going to put a black X on it, which looks like two pick locks or like two picks to pick the lock. And now I'm going to go in with my matte mod podge to seal everything in. Now that everything is completely dry, it's now time to attach the head back onto the body. I'm using the hairdryer to soften up the head a bit, so I can gently push it on the neck plug. And voila, the head is now onto the body, and the head is still movable, which is great. So now let's look at the final result of this pony. So here is the final result of this pony. Okay, so I made them this very simple like green dress like the original, like the original character has. So I just like recreated like the dress basically. So it's a very simple, very plain dress <laughs> that I made. It's just like a very simple villager sort of dress. So yeah. For the wig, like I did try to recreate this like hairstyle. So it's kind of like it's in a bun, but like the bun's like upside down to give it more volume. So I did the same sort of thing on the pony as well. So I don't like the upside down bun thing and I put some like extra pieces of like yarn as well to kind of like tuck it under. So like these are extensions basically and I kind of want it, want it to make it look very like clumpy sort of thing. Like I like the hair how it's in like different parts and like different clumps and stuff. So I like that I kind of like just I, I like how it's in like different sections and different clumps they kind of just I, I don't know I just like that and for like the parting of the hair what I did was I got some very cheap eyeshadow that I found from the pound shop and I kind of just like put it like in the middle so it kind of creates the illusion of like the middle parting a bit more and I also did give them the same color tail as well it's just like a blonde tail that can be removable you just pull it out but this is kind of like firm in like <laughs> i don't know how i got this sling in like i have to like budge it in like i get the scissors to try and like encourage it to get in and stuff but it's, it's kind of like tough to get out like this is very that this isn't going out unless you really pull it out so yeah i give them a tail wig and stuff this little cutie mark under the dress and yes the dress does have an underskirt as well <laughs> okay i'm gonna be honest i'm not sure if like the wig actually suits like the pony i know it's just like i don't know i thought it would look kind of put more put together like the doll does but like for some reason like it just doesn't but luckily it's a wig so i can just slide it off like that and i thought that this like pony character would look better if i had like bright yellow hair because it kind of gives like a more cartoony more loud segment to it and also it is like miss quickly of nanny mcfee which is like i guess the new inspiration for this character like they remind me of miss quickly so i made them this very simple wig and i did do a tutorial on, on how to make like the very easy one the it did snap like the the ring like the tie off it did snap off but i i don't care <laughs> but um really it's meant to have like a tie on so it can be like firmly on the head sort of thing but i'm just gonna for the sake of this video i'm just gonna put it on the head like this so i think the suit yellow a lot more look at that there's a yellow and green it's just like a great like color combination sort of thing and i kind of like how they kind of like <laughs> have like a receding hair it looks like they have like a receding hairline but really this is a character who is bald and wears wigs but i kind of like that because it kind of makes them look more you can see the eyebrows more and you can see the more detail on the face more so i kind of like the receding hairline sort of element and stuff i did like curl this wig as well i, I used like a um, i used a cotton bud i wrapped the hair around the cotton bud and then i like clamped it with the straighteners then i released it and then that's how i got these riglets basically so yeah that's the second wig that i made 
which I also kind of like better than this one. This wig is a different maid wig, it's a lot more complex than this simple one. But I'm gonna link the tutorial on how I make like the easy simple pony wigs. I don't know if I'm gonna ever make like a tutorial on how to make the more complex ones because I feel like I haven't like mastered it yet because I haven't made many complex wigs yet but maybe one day I will but I really do like the yellow like I love that. I love that. <laughs> and I also made a tail wig for them as well so I'm gonna try and like remove the tail from this pony so I'm gonna give you like a little tour I guess on how to put the dress off and put it on. Put the dress off? Is that even a thing? Get the dress off and put it on. So this is a two-piece set so it's like that. Okay and you just slide this off but I'm not going to. So this is a very firm tail, so you just pull it off like that and then I'm gonna get the yellow tail and I'm just gonna like slide it in. To help put like the tail wigs in I use like the scissors so I just like help with, like to be wedged in with the scissors so I'm probably just gonna do this maybe off camera because it's like easier to do off camera because I'm like looking at like my iPad screen <laughs> while I'm like doing this and it's just a bit you know so you just like bought like wedge it in like so basically it, it will look better if I did it off camera but yeah um so that's basically it and <laughs> that's the two wigs that I made made them so far I did make another wig that's another yellow one and I will show you that so I haven't actually seen like the two wigs the two like the main wig and the tail wig together on this pony yet so I love this so much they look a lot better with a yellow wig am i right i am right okay so yeah that's this is like the second wig <laughs> okay so i put the tail in better so the last wig that i made is like the 18th century inspired wig so this is the second wig that i made that's 18th century inspired it's meant to be kind of messy because you know this is like for this specific character so just keep that in mind this is not the best looking pony so this is not going to be the best looking wig i guess or not as flattering or elegant and classy i'm just adjusting my camera <laughs> so you just like slide the wig on basically and, and and it's on basically it does have like two ear holes so you put like the ears through the two holes and that voila there you go they have a beautiful yellow tacky looking wig <laughs> which is kind of it, it's intentional okay everything's intentional okay for, for this one again i like how you can like see the eyebrows i like that i kind of did it kind of like for fall back i like that my wigs are fall back because you can see like the more detail in the face and yes the wig is secure the pony does not fall down it is meant to be a big wig as well these are meant to be big wigs and stuff I did glue on some hair pots and some super glue and some other little these are meant to be like apples i guess like because they're stuck like fruits in the hair in like the 18th century and stuff and i did a terrible job at sticking on the feathers like you can clearly see the glue so i might have to rip them off and redo them again so yes this is what they look like in their giant wig <laughs> and if anyone's wondering this is actually like the first wig i made for a pony it was for a unicorn it is for a unicorn character so yeah <laughs> this is my first wig i made for a pony if anyone's interested in that yay <laughs> Okay, so my final thoughts on this character is I'm not sure if I regret like painting them green or not. Like I do think I was like maybe they would look better if they're like the original colour, but I'm not really sure. Like I I don't mind it. I'm keep thinking like do they look better like purple or do they look better green? But it doesn't really matter really. The only thing that I kind of regret is giving them like an extra like um what do you call it catch light. On the lip so i might get rid of that i might just paint over it red to get rid of that because if you look at it like from a certain angle it looks like a tooth like there like that that looks like a tooth <laughs> and i think that's going a bit too far you know so i might get rid of that also i kind of like damaged the hoof somehow i don't know how i did this look at this it's like scuffed like that's horrible so i need to go over over it again with some green paint and hopefully i can save it but yeah, that is that is just really sad, really a bit of damage. But I, it, I can fix it. I, I can fix it. <laughs> so yes, this is Kathy Lockwork, and the wig can just slide off like that. I might give them the yellow wig. I think they look best with the yellow wig. So <laughs> this is kind of more like a casual, more of like a casual look, like everyday sort of look. 
and this is more like fancy ball elegant look this is kind of like i'm gonna visit somebody important look <laughs> sort of thing so wigs for different occasions different wigs for different occasions <laughs> okay my final thoughts on this pony is i don't hate them it's just that i don't know like if they could look more like this character somehow i don't know if it's like the pupil placement or anything like i don't know if i should like move if i should have moved the pupils like more in the middle i did think about that but i was like maybe i kind of want them to look more direct at like who they're talking to sort of thing like if they're in a skit or something like so they don't look like they're just like looking at the camera sort of thing so i just thought it would look just make more it would just make more sense if they were like looking like that you know also like another thing i don't you know a thing that i don't really like that much is that like the eyebrows like and the eyelashes like there's like a crossover and it kind of looks like stitches i love stitches but this is not meant to be stitches it's meant to be eyelashes and, uh, and an eyebrow like two eyebrows so i don't know if that you know what I mean? It's just kind of, it kind of annoys me a bit. And they kind of look like um, a Halloween sort of character, which is again not really what I want. They look kind of Halloween-y in a way, like they look like a zombie, like a zombie sort of character. Like, I mean, which can be good in a sense because I could like feature this pony in so many like skits if I need them or series. Like they they can be used for many different characters. Like. I could use them as like a stereotypical, I don't know if this is offensive, it is a bit, like as a witch, cause you know, like the green witch of like the Wizard of Oz and you know, green witches are a thing and stuff. And so I could use them as like a stereotypical witch if I want. I don't think I will do that, but they do look like a, something, <laughs> something Halloween-y and stuff. But, and I kind of also think that like, since I am gonna make like another, friend of Ms. Scotch, of um, another friend of this character. <laughs> um, I'm kind of thinking of making... Oh, should I spoil it? I don't know if I should do a spoiler. Okay, so next time I want to make Susie Stitchwood, which is this character. So they're like another friend of Ms. Scotch. I know it's not meant to be this doll. This is a different character, but they just happen to be in the box with um, Kathy and Ms. Scotch. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna give Ms. Scotch another friend, and they're both not the best looking sort of ponies. They still have like the eye, the <laughs> the eyelash and the eyeliner, the heavy eyeliner situation. So, but I think this one is meant to be a bit better looking than this one. Like they're not as dramatic. I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna put as much darkness around the eyes or anything. But yeah. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, just because, like, after I make Susie Stitchwood, which is, again, the, the spoiler one, that this one, I'm thinking maybe I could, like, recreate, like, Cinderella, because these two could be, like, the two ugly sisters sort of thing, so I think that would be pretty interesting and quite funny, or maybe, I don't know, I just think, I've, I've, I just, think it'll be interesting and it's an idea and I could probably do that like that that would be so fun <laughs> so yeah I am okay with how they turned out yeah I just think like <laughs> look at the blush like it looks a lot darker like they look more edgy and more scary in a way like they look more edgy like they're kind of like Ms. Lovett Mrs. Lovett from like Sweeney Todd and I love Sweeney Todd it's like oh my gosh Sweeney Todd is my favorite all-time character so they, I kind of like that. I'm like, oh, they kind of look a bit like Ms. Lover. Just like a tiny, just a tiny, the tiniest bit. So yeah. Um, anyway. <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty much the main things. And by the way, I think this wig doesn't really suit like the pony body colour. Like this blonde doesn't really suit the green. Like it suits the character, this very well. Like it suits the cloth character with like the purple skin tone. But I don't know if it suits green. That kind of shocked me. I was like, oh, it doesn't really look right for some reason. So that's kind of why I was like, oh, what would look better? I was like, I think they would look better if they had like yellow hair. So that's why I made like the yellow wig. So it was kind of unintentional, but I'm really happy that I made it. So yeah, this is what this wig looks like. Um, Yeah, <laughs> it, it's still their wig. So I'm not gonna <laughs> take it away from them or anything. I'll probably, I will definitely still like it, it's true to like the original and i kind of like that like no matter how much it clashes or how bad it looks it, it's the character they like it it's who they are okay so yeah i think i did a pretty good job kind of recreating like the wig sort of thing like this it looks so good i'm kind of proud of myself a bit like 
it's just like the same sort of thing it's just that this it's, it's exactly what i want it's just like the color just doesn't really go so that's why i was debating like if i regretted painting the green or not so i'm not really sure so yeah <laughs> and also not forgetting that you can like style this wig anywhere that you want sort of thing like you can put it off to the side sort of thing and give them a bit of like an emo sort of fringe and stuff and you can like even make the illusion of it being like tied up in a more like elegant sort of bun in a way like like that <laughs> kind of tied up you just need to get like a hair a hairpin to clip it back and stuff so yeah you can do you can do many things with yarn so yeah it's kind of magical it's magical and the only thing that i did different on the face up is that i give this pony a beauty mark and the original doesn't i just thought that you know they're, they're a little bit extra so i kind of give them a beauty mark and stuff so that's the only different thing on the face up pretty much everything else is like the same you know they have the black eyebrows black big black eyelashes and blush <laughs> the same sort of elements but presented in a slightly different way because I, I cannot get this exact you know anyway so that's about it for this video all the need now is basically a ball gown to go with like the big ball wig and and just more wigs basically <laughs> be free to leave a cheeky little like and a friendly little comment and if you haven't already please subscribe and thank you all so much for watching and bye